Hi, my name's Nick from Australia Native Bee. I want to talk to you about a little invention I've made to help in the propagation of one of our more elusive species of native Australian stingless bee, Australis. How do they work? Basically, the frame has a four and a half mil gap around the whole frame. This allows the bees to pass freely around the whole hive but it's too small for them to want to build a honey or pollen pot in that place. The underside of the frame also has a bee space. The white separator that sits within the frames is a false wall for the bees to know where to build their brood to. The frames are fairly easy to put together and I use the back of my knife here to knock them together. Once the frames are complete, I like to mix up a little bit of araldite to make sure the frames are rock solid and stay in position. Once the frame is full of bees, it will look something like this. Next to this box, I have another box with two empty frames. To make a new colony, I'm going to cut any little struts joining the frame to the box. Once this is done, I can pop this frame out of the box quite easy. You can see it just lifts straight out. One frame will be left in the mother box and the other one will be added to the new box. Before walking away, just check that your frame is centered in the middle of your box with a gap all the way around it. Here's a video I did of using the Powell split frames to perform a propagation. I have to thank Alan Waters here because his box design was inspiration for me designing these frames. I also took Mr Langstroth's bee space idea and introduced that as well. Observing that stingless bees like to keep their brood off the floor of the hive for humidity and temperature control, I added the space to the bottom of these frames. This also prevents any pests from being able to hide under the brood post split. The 4.5mm external gap was taken by measuring many many Australis hives. I observed the way bees moved about the hive and kept this little gap between their honey pots and structure. Alan Waters had already figured out the brood separator wall many many years before me. He understood that Australis like to build their brood in a ball. When the ball touches something, the bees do not want to build through it. If the containment area is the right size for their brood, they will stay within it. Australis brood can be likened to a heartbeat in the way that it's laid. It starts from the middle and the queen lays outwards. It is for this reason that these frames work so well. The brood being split down the middle gives you a full spectrum in the age of the bees being born. As long as you make sure that you have an even amount of brood in both sides, your split will be successful. I hope this video and these frames help other people to think outside the box with ideas as to how we can help our Australian native bees.